Well, I guess you are at the beginning of your journey to become a music producer, if you clicked on this video. You probably downloaded FL Studio but just don't know how and where to start. That's why I made this video for you. In this quick tutorial you'll get familiar with all the surfaces and tools that this DAW includes. Even if you never opened FL Studio before, it will help you understanding the software. So, stay until the end, make sure to subscribe and without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, let's open FL Studio by double clicking on the icon. Now you can see your working space. There are a lot of windows and knobs, I know, but let me explain this step by step. This surface in the middle here is our main surface. It's the place where you drag all the sounds in and arrange, to get a full song in the end. There are three different types of elements you can use here. Patterns, samples, and automation clips. Usually a song only consists of these three types of things. Let me explain this more detailed and start with. Samples. Samples are already recorded audio clips, and it can be everything. From percussive elements like kick drums, claps, hi-hats, to FX sounds like sweeps, crashes etc. and even melodic elements like drones, real recorded pianos or anything you can imagine. The benefit of samples is you can just drag and drop them, and I will show you how. FL Studio has already some samples in it. Of course you can get sample packs for any genre from other sources, but we will use the stock pack. For this, go to this left area, click on packs, drums, and now you can choose what you want to use. For example, let's grab a kick drum. Just click on the different kicks and you will get a preview what it sounds like. Left click, hold, and drag your sample right into your main surface area. There it is. This sample menu you can deactivate by clicking on this button. Now let's have a look at patterns. Patterns are the place where you can use instruments and draw real notes in it. To add a new pattern, just click on this plus symbol, then click on pattern 1 and hold to drag it into your timeline. Now, to use an instrument, you have to choose this icon. Do a right click on the default plugin, go to replace and now you have the choice. I recommend to use Flex in the beginning, it is easy to use and completely free. Of course you can buy external stuff, the most common VSTS and EDM are Silent One, Serum, Nexus, Massive and Vital. As we have opened the Flex plugin, we can choose any sound we like. For example some piano. Now, to draw notes and in the end our melody or chords, go to this icon, left click, and here it is our piano roll. There are unlimited possibilities, just experiment and come up with something cool. Let's have a look at the last part one want to show you today, the mixing section. We get this by clicking on this icon. Here we can regulate our volume of each channel and add effects like echo, distortion etc. Let me show you this very quick. First, we need to route our piano to channel 1. Click here and set this number to 1 by scrolling with your mouse wheel. Now we can add effects on top of the piano. Click on slot 1, and there you have an overview of all your plugins. Same as before, you can buy external stuff, but the most important effects are already inbuilt free stuff. Let's choose a delay effect. Now, our piano sounds like this. There it opens another window where you can modify the effect further. So, as you probably know, you can't focus on everything in a short tutorial like this. But when I started off an overview like this would have helped a lot. So let me know down in the comments if you liked the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. If you want to have more beginner content about FL Studio, subscribe to my channel, there are a lot of tutorials coming on this topic. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.